Retro Active No! Of course, it's locked. Surprise, surprise, the door is locked. Oh, man, just suddenly gained a sense of humor. Not only has been chased by a giant fucking He's tiger cat like creature. Okay. <clears throat> Everything will be alright, baby. Look at that one guy's face that's holding the mother. It's like, he's all <clears throat> serious face. What shampoo have you been using? <laughs> the other it's guy's just nice. kind of mellow about it. Yeah. And the one guy's like, <laughs> He's like hyperventilating, like he's gonna <laughs> kill me. Alright, so. Uh, Everything will be okay, Mimi! Okay, we gotta go down somewhere. Why? This was as far as we made it. We didn't. Well, we didn't see the elevator, so. Yeah. Get down on the ground, sir! Oh, <laughs> okay, so I know where the key's from. Basement. For that door. Which was locked. Nope. For that chest, which has bodies in it. Yep. There's no need to open the sacks. I'm not in the mood to see decayed bodies. But you can clearly see it. Dell, how is the search going? I found the bodies. They've been in a trunk in the basement all this time. Murdered. And Bernard's long dead to seek any type of legal recourse. Bernard wanted to make sure his wife never found out about his affair with Victoria and the child he had with her. He sent henchmen in and made sure they vanished. This was definitely the source of the curse. The atmosphere down here is lightened. Doesn't seem as dark. Well, it's not over yet. We still have that magic show tragedy upstairs. I have some information about Roxanne Black. Her body was found on the third floor stairwell. The official report claimed she'd been carrying a large pile of- Clean towels. Yes, clean towels. Down the stairs when she tripped and tumbled, breaking down. her neck. How did you- Uh, what else would a maid be carrying? I'm going to go check out the scene. I'll check back with you in a bit. I love castle towelettes. They are soft against my bum. Peekaboo! <laughs> you play, uh... You open up the chest, it's like, Surprise! It was a magic <laughs> trick! We're all alive! It's okay! Oh, <laughs> uh, where was I supposed to go? Third oh, floor. Third floor. Stairwell. To find the moist towelettes. I love castle towelettes. They feel soft against my bum. <laughs> Alright. Third floor. Poor, poor Roxanne. Someone murdered her. The bitch. Murderer. Okay, listen to this. What do you think it says? She's on very woo. Need to record it. Hey Dell, I ran that image yeah. you just sent me through the scanner. It didn't so this is the third time, time, just to make sure. First game, nothing. Let's record this. Okay, tell me what you can make of it. Give me a second, it's coming in now. <laughs> what you recorded was an EVP. Hold on. Let me break out my geek to English dictionary. Electronic voice phenomenon? It's a disembodied voice picked up by a modern recording device. I couldn't make it out at first, but then I played it in reverse. Magically. And? The voice is saying, room 306, closet, over and over in a loop. All right. I've got my destination. Moo! Moo! <laughs> Caress the cow, moo, and that's the grazing sound. Wait. That 306. Yeah, not 300. Yeah, that's gone. You'll never be able to go back. 304, 301? So it's on this side, yeah. right to the left, actually. No, it's 302. 303. Okay, so it's on the other side of the hallway. I think it's the one on the left. Three oh seven. Surprise, so surprise. The door is locked. Or is it? Yay! The door is locked. But what? it said 306. Closet. 
fuck this shit, we're breaking in! <laughs> uh, I think I got stuck on that part for a second, because I didn't see the uh, break-in part. What's the magic word? I'm guessing it's not please. Dallas! <laughs> oh, look. That's a key. key! It belongs to a keepsake box. Belongs to a key maker. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's get out of here! Which was on the bottom of the screen for some reason. And then the monster comes! And now I have to go to the basement again! All right. <laughs> Second door. Going downstairs. In the basement. Down we go. Where we stop, no one knows. How could he do this huh. to me? He loved me. We were going to grow old together. <laughs> so you were saying, uh... You are saying Katie's here is an obsessive, obsessive girlfriend. Not Katie. Uh, Fuck. The girl on the thing. I'll bet Kelly would Gwen. love to see Kelly! Kelly. Not Katie! <laughs> I'll bet Kelly would love to see this picture. Obs obsessive bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, you there? I found something interesting. The picture's coming in now. How do you know? Rupert Cosmont and Roxanne Black. The magician and the maid. An affair? That gives Faye a motive. That's what I'm thinking. Better take this picture. Yep. Never know when I'll need to uh, look at it again. Okay, um... For a second there, I thought I saw someone le looking, like, just sitting on the couch. It's that actually... Like, hey, what's going on? No, that actually sometimes might happen. There might be a spirit sitting on the couch, you might not notice it. Like, they sometimes can be, like, standing in the corner. And... The... the random events. So, that's one point when you take the picture, but it doesn't seem to work here. Um, okay, no, so I guess I gotta go to... Hey. <laughs> I guess I gotta go to Roxanne. Uh, body... Left. In the stairwell and give her the picture. Yep. And then she'll be like, thank For nothing! No, she'll be like, Shazam! Mashmir Moor! Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh! Help Thank me. you. Awesome. Help me! <laughs> I can't get out! <laughs> so... Okay, so I know what to do now. Um... I need to go to room 104... Oh, 204. Hey, Kelly. I was going to room 402, right? Sure, Dal. When they finished building the fourth floor... It's room 204. You've been there already, remember? Alright. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't care, Kelly, what you say. I'm leaving you. You can't leave me. I I'll have to do this. <laughs> Forever and ever. I took your phone. You don't need that, right? All your girlfriends and friends that might be girls are on there. I'll just... <laughs> you don't need any of them. Three oh four. Four oh three. Hello? So, Rupert, you've not been warned of the capabilities of a woman scorned. Well, this is one woman that will not stand for it. I've got a surprise for you in that peasant maid that ruined what you and I had together. In fact, I've got a surprise for everyone. 
Alright, that's when this she thing murdered him. That I did not notice here before. It's what have we got here? It's a confession from Faye herself. It's been here all these years. This ought to put Rupert's soul. I did it. Signed her. <laughs> can we read it? No, I don't think we can. Well, that's shit. Let's record it. <laughs> record the note. What does it sound like? Uh oh. Shit. Delaware, are you there? I've got some information you can use about the hunter. Make it quick. I just saw it down the hall. All right. It seems that the rooms that you've been going into for protection, well, they're not for your protection. They're meant to be traps for the creature. So what am I supposed to do? Lock myself in there with him? Apparently you missed the part where I told you he's the size of a bull. No, it isn't just a cage. It acts as a sort of euthanizing room for it. It's an energy containment vortex. I'm guessing created by the good spirits in the place. That's all fine and dandy, but there's one problem. What? I don't know which room the protected one is. I'd start looking if I were you. I've been reading up and this thing is much more evil than I originally thought. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Room 305. It's coming for you. No, it was just here. Okay, to the elevator. <laughs> it would be funny to just walk towards where it was and then you just uh, you just sat there and they were like, hey buddy, how's it going? <laughs> what's, what's up? So 305? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it was on the left side. Yeah, it was. Go, man, go. How did it get here so fast? It's a ghost. There it is. Go, man, go. The door's locked. Bullshit. <laughs> hey. This isn't over, Delaware. You know who I am? <laughs> of course I know. Let we all shame. know who you are. Even if you don't. Then let's even this up. Who are you? In time, Delaware. In time. Why are you hunting me? Gotcha. I follow the orders of the Destroyer. The Destroyer? Wow, you guys weren't very creative with the names, huh? I have failed at my mission, Delaware St. John. But others will not. You will be stopped. You must be stopped. He just wants to eat you to save humanity. <laughs> Why can't you let him? Alright, so uh, we're just about, you know, an hour and 20 minutes in. This is the first game, so shouldn't take us too long for the rest of them. Now, we do have the Roxanne's... Um, confession. Confession. No, that's not Roxanne's confession. No, that that's was his wife's His wife's, yes. That he murdered the both of them. That she murdered. Yeah. He, she, the monster, whatever. <laughs> it's all relative. It's all right. It's all right, it's all right. This way. Just get a, uh... Oh god, the power is running through me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I swear to god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to be judged by you! What's that look? Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Now I know my wife did it. The bitch. A destroyer, huh? Yeah, that's what it said. Sounds serious. The hunter, the protector, the destroyer. It all seems a bit silly to me. There's one thing I don't understand about this case. Only one? The violent deaths of Victoria and her daughter caused a sort of dark magnet that ultimately led to other events that only energized on the negative power. My question is, who was the man that did the deed, and did he know what he was causing down the line? Yes. A hunter is summoned. They don't just come along. I think there's much more going on here than we realize, Del. You know what I'm thinking? Pancakes and eggs. I'm gonna be there in about an hour. You up for some late night breakfast? You don't take anything seriously. And you take everything too seriously, so we're even. 
Stop flirting! Seriously, get your butt home fast. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. We've been up all night. <laughs> I don't want to sleep. All right, so um. <laughs> Phil Quinn as Delaware Saint John. As so these are John uh, Saint Delaware. Voice actors and all the people. Son or... of Carpenter. <laughs> Kelly Bradford. Bratford. All right. Oh shit. Uh, anyways, you keep talking. I'll be back. All right. So all these people once again deserve. <laughs> Should deserve all the credit for all the work, so uh, go to Big Fish Games and get the game, play it, and there's there's a little bit more to the content in terms of the the audio you might get, like some things you might click, it might get you a little bit more information. Just a little bit, you know, I, I, we've covered most of the information here, and sometimes, you know, you get additional, uh, additional dialogue when you know nothing of, you know, what to do or what's going on. And you click the connect button many times. Ah, oh, Victoria Shaw, Frey Harris, or Faye Harris, actually. Uh, Roxanne Black, Danielle Miller, David Vardy, or Barry, Rupert Cosmont, Todd Kinsley as the announcer, The Hunter, Dan Emps. I'm just gonna stretch my back for a second. Auxiliary <laughs> voices. Okay. I'm gonna actually lower this chair. There we go. Oh, look, I got here right when it ended. Sweet. Special thanks to Scott Kinsley. It's Mr. Kennedy. It's not Mr. Superman. Oh, I'm thinking that's what I might do for one of my horror games, actually. Which one? Uh, Resident Evil 4. Oh, it's uh, pretty awesome. Game engine programming, and written by Brian Blakely. Brian Spiel. Brian. So I thought that said Quentin. <laughs> <laughs> so as you see, for a small game like this, no budget, plenty of people working on it, and. Uh, Why is there no music? No. Damn it, the headphone dropped and now it's broken. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's cheap ass headphones. Don't work if you twist them a certain way. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna wait. James. St. John, Delaware. Yep. Thank you for playing. You're welcome! Cross promotion here, guys. You guys deserve a lot of, uh, a lot of credit for making a great game. Alright, let's go to Delaware St. John, Volume 2. <laughs>